Hello, welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other. And one of the things I was talking talk about today is an actor that was around uh, Glenn, Glenn Ford. He was born May 1st, 1916 in Quebec, Canada. He was a Canadian-American actor. Family immigrated into California and he attended Santa Monica High School. He was an active in school drama productions and other with other future actors such as James Griffith. After graduation, around 1934, began working in small theater groups. While in high school, he took odd jobs, including working for future famous comedian and entertainer Will Rogers, who taught him horsemanship. He later commented that his father had no objection to him growing, his growing interest in acting, but told him, it's all right for you to try to act, but if you learn something else first, be able to take a car apart and put it together, be able to build a house, every bit of it, then you always have something. He listened to his father's advice, and decades later, during the 1950s, one of Hollywood's most popular actors, he regularly worked on plumbing, wiring, and air conditioning at his home. He became a naturalized U.S. citizen on November 10, 1939, taking the Oath of Allegiance. He was in several different movies. He did cowboy roles, love roles. He was in military movies, all kinds of kinds of various diff different films. Or I remember him being one of his later ones being in the movie Happy Birthday to Me, this horror film. I remember I remember that. He played a doctor in, in that movie. He was a private in the Marine Corps during World War II. He excelled in training, winning the Rifle Marksman's badge, being named Honor Man of the Platoon, and being promoted to Sergeant by the time he had finished. Winning assignment in Camp Pendleton, Marine Base, he volunteered to play a Marine Raider, uncredited in the film Guadalcanal Guadal Diary. During the early 1980s, I saw him in the commercial about... Um, benefits for a veteran. Glenn Ford is not only an actor, he's a retired Navy captain who served for 25 years, including service in the Pacific in World War II and a few tours of duty in Vietnam. Here with an important announcement for all veterans is Captain Glenn Ford. I'm happy to announce a major increase in benefits in Academy Life's Veterans Group Health Plan. Now, for the first time... Uh, that's that's part, part of the commercial that he, that he was in for Academy Life Veterans Group Health Plan and from 1981. He was a captain in the, was in the Naval Reserve in, during the Vietnam War. So he, besides just being an actor, he was also a captain in a reserve. Pretty, pretty impressive. I always, always liked his work as an actor. Another movie that he did was back in 1955, Blackboard Jungle, a landmark film of teen angst at a MGM. Nineteen seventy six, he played Rear Admiral Raymond Spruance in the Midway, alongside Henry Fonda, who portrayed. Admiral Chester Nimitz and Charlton Heston, who played the fictional Captain Matt Garth in 1978, he had a supporting role in Superman as Clark, Clark Kent's adopted father, Jonathan Kent. Yes, they do have him listed in Happy Birthday to Me, 1981, played it, Dr. David Faraday. And the last movie he was in was Final Verdict, 1991, as Reverend Rogers. Final film role. He retired from acting in 1991, age 75, with heart and circulatory problems. He suffered serious minor strokes that left him frail health in years preceding his, his death. He died at his Beverly Hills home on August 30, 2006, at the age of 90. So he lived quite a long time. And I, I did see 
an episode two of um, This Is Your Life where they they um, portrayed him in the early 70s, a later version of the Ralph Edwards show. And I liked in Glenn Ford, that was one, one of America's finest actors, and just thought I'd discuss you know, him and that, that commercial. I remember seeing that commercial back in the early 80s, and like I said before, I'm looking for ideas on shows to do in the future. Shows about preserving history, especially obscure aspects of history. With that being said, like, subscribe, share. As always, thanks for watching.